Here is a quick guide on how to set up Affinity Photo to make sure you're getting the best results from DxO Pure Raw's DNG file output. First, I'll take one of my RAW files and drop it onto the Pure Raw interface. I'll right-click it and choose Process File. I'm using Deep Prime XD for the processing engine, and I like to disable lens softness as I find that the sharpening can create ringing around high contrast edges, even with the soft option, so I do all the sharpening in post-production. I also like to set lens distortion to maximum rectangle. This will often expand the pixel resolution with more extreme corrections, such as when you are using wide-angle lenses. I'll show you what this means later. I'll make sure output format is set to DNG, and I've already set Affinity Photo up as the external editor, which will receive the output file. I'll click Start Processing, and when the DNG file is created, it will be passed to Affinity Photo. Now. This is the most important part. When you develop RAW files in Affinity Photo, it performs lens corrections. Pure RAW has already performed these lens corrections, however, so Photo is effectively repeating them unnecessarily. If I go across to the lens panel, you'll see that the profile for this Olympus lens is being applied. And if I disable lens correction, look at the difference. This is what the image should look like once it has been corrected. I also need to disable chromatic aberration reduction and remove lens vignette to prevent photo from applying any lens-based corrections. On the details panel, I can also disable noise reduction, as denoising has also been applied by Pure Raw as well. Now the raw data is in the best possible state for development. At this point, I would enable non-destructive raw if required and click develop. Then I would continue with the typical layer-based editing workflow. However, disabling the corrections in photo can soon become tiresome if all of your images are going through pure raw first, so I'll show you how to prevent them from being applied in the first place. In the Develop Persona, you'll see this Assistant button on the top toolbar. Click it to access several development settings. All I need to do is change Default Lens Profile to None and Noise Reduction to take no action. Now let me close this document down and reopen the original raw file by going to File, Open Recent. Looking across on the lens panel, we can see that no corrections are being applied, so this image now looks correct straight away. I can perform some initial adjustments, or if everything looks good, I can just develop the image and move on to further editing. I also mentioned I would quickly show you why the maximum rectangle mode is useful. I've got a RAW file from my infrared camera here, which I am using with a basic kit lens that needs some significant distortion correction. I'll make sure lens distortion is set to maximum rectangle and click Start Processing. Once the DNG file is opened in Affinity Photo, you may notice this looks a little wider than the expected 6x4 aspect ratio. Indeed, the camera is a Sony A6000, whose output files have a pixel resolution of 6000x4000. But the readout up here says 6396x4000. Because of the extreme distortion correction required for this lens, rather than crop the edge detail away, maximum rectangle instead expands the resolution of the image so you gain image detail at the sides. You may not want this option if you prefer your compositions to be predictable and representative of what you captured in camera, but I do find this feature useful, as I like to have as much initial image detail as possible to work with. Anyway, that was a short guide on how to make the most of the DNG output from Pure Raw when combining it with Affinity Photo. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.